relax tonight. I want to talk about living longer, stronger. And I'm not talking about just how to reach 120 years old. No, I'm talking about being strong and living a long time and what you need to do. Obviously, as a child, you need to eat the right things. You need to be exposed to a limited amount of sunlight. You also need to hear positive and loving reaffirmations from the parents. It means a lot of hugs, a lot of eye contact. Always let the little baby grab your finger and squeeze it like a hand grip. That gets the muscles and pulses firing. You see in certain countries like Russia, they'll throw newborn babies in the water and have them learn to swim. But that also stimulates them in many ways. So don't be afraid to stimulate the baby muscle wise and intellectually. Now as a young child, get away from the video games. I'll say it once, I said it again. Get them into sports, baseball, football, basketball, a martial art, boxing. Help them to develop reflexes. A certain amount of strength that doesn't put too much pressure on their growth plates. You really don't want to get into heavy lifting until those growth plates are formed correctly. And that usually occurs around the age of 13. Now light calisthenic type movements are great. But on 13, you get them on a solid weight program, <laughs> emphasizing form first. And I do believe in the anaphor for teenagers, 100%. That'll increase bone density and combined with the natural hormonal profile of a young teenage girl or boy will increase their strength and fast switch muscle fibers without any undue side effects. And that of course can stop once that individual gets about the age of 18 whether they want to decide to be in a non-PED tested sport or one that's tested, such as college athletics, but that's definitely the way to go. And again, I'll say it once, I said it a thousand times, get fresh air, drink plenty of water, use salt, use different types of salts, iodized salt, pink Himalayan salt, keep that diet with meat every day, eggs every day, natural unprocessed carbohydrates as young people need them. They're very active. Do not go carnivore until you're at least 40 years old. Then you can give it a try. As far as supplements from day one, low dose vitamin C, magnesium, zinc, a little copper for the zinc. A B complex, thank you, Conor McGregor was never my friend. He's lived in a 99 degree high humidity, Texas. He, what part of Texas are you from? Conor McGregor was never my friend. Barbell and a rack, doing overhead presses, German volume training, 10 times 10. To me, if I had to do it over again, that's what I would do. High German volume training on the basics. Very impressive. Thank you, Sassy Savage Goddess. Welcome to the live. Yes, I saw It's Sick as Piss. And happy to say, conservative Cuban announced that Jay is out of the coma and he had to be restrained. So he's obviously a fighter. He will continue to fight and we will continue to pray. And we thank God for that. Never quit. That's what we get. Sums up for Jay. Well, licking the floor, you need to expose yourself to germs. 
especially as a young child, youth, teenager, you need to develop your immune system. And you get that by mixing it with other people. Of course, you wash your hands and things like that, but don't be afraid of getting in those situations. That'll make you strong in the long run. Also, there's no reason anybody can't drink milk now with lactose-free milk. So everybody make sure you drink a limited amount of that. And yeah, I wish I was up in Tennessee, Frank Farmer. But when you want to talk living life, long life, number one, good REM sleep. I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. Keep the lights off. Keep the room cool. Keep it quiet. If you're not used to sleeping in that, make yourself used to sleep in that condition. See, those are the best results that you'll get. Michael Thunder says you could take lactose enzymes as well. Lactase. Thank you. I haven't communicated with Nate, the rap Nate for a while. I'll text him every so often, though. Also, stress, let's talk about it. You want to keep it non-existent. Why worry? It's pointless. Thank you, Conor McGregor was never my friend. He's having some flank steak, bison rice with vegetables, as well as three cups of fair life high protein milk. That is tremendous because you're out there sweating. You're doing the basics. You're pounding the movements. Their muscles are getting a message. We need to grow stronger. And you give them exactly what they need. And don't be afraid to salt that. Well, I'm sure you know that. But that's a great inspiration for everybody. You want to live long and strong. You train like that. And when you're in high heat, great changes come about in your body to adapt. Frank Farmer has a very, very rough job. Just remember this, you cannot control anyone else's behavior. No matter what they say to you is meaningless at the end of the day. That's why I'm so in favor of trolls because once you get called so many derogatory names that nothing gets to you. It's just another way of toughening up. But in this case, it shows that all stress, Frank, comes from your own mind. If you're giving it 100%, you're prepared. You know God's watching down on you. And the only thing you could do is try to set an example to the parents and explain to them ways to ease their their anger, but at the end of the day, that is their behavior and you have absolutely no control over it. So relax, Frank, you're doing a good job. Now, after the age of 40, the supplements you need to add, which are over the counter, is actually a hormone. It's called DHEA, dehydroepiandrosterone. It does wonders for blood sugar metabolism, as well as the conversion of cholesterol and testosterone. And it works great in women for building muscle. Thank you, Michael Thunder. Just look into your heart to forgive your father. That's all. And in many cases, you can be, you'll be, like I said, you'll become a stronger man, Michael, and you probably are. What creates strength is hardships. What did the German philosopher Nietzsche always say? That which doesn't kill me makes me stronger. So anything like that is going to make you stronger in every way.
That's good to hear, Michael Thunder. Swagnum Patriot says you can forgive and never talk to someone. Also, another a few medications that I would recommend for those over 40, male and female. For men, get your testosterone levels checked as soon as you turn 40, if you haven't done so already, because this is a time when natural secretions will typically go down in most. However, if you're eating correctly and training correctly, it may not. But in the case that it does, does go down, you would definitely be wise to replace it. There's many clinics around, many doctors that will work with you. A simple 200 to anywhere from 150 to 400 milligrams a week will work wonders for you and keep, keep you stronger, longer, and functioning. Lenny Jr., who's 55, says he's fine. Perfect. You don't need to do anything. Sassy Savage Goddess has a message. I want to thank you again, Sassy. Pray that Jesse Morrissey is found as a $4,000 reward. Anybody that is familiar with Jesse Morrissey, please take this into consideration. Thank you, Sassy. Lenny Jr. says DHEA made me pee all the time, really. It may be removing excess blood sugar via the urine. That's a possibility. Frank Farmer's about to turn 50 and needs to look into his test levels. He's lethargic all the time. Frank Farmer is a natural. The way you train, <laughs> no wonder you're lethargic. You should get it checked out. What do I think about public figures such as Liver King and Carnival MD? They're great. We need more people like that. And we need less of the people that are making extremely large amounts of money and being a negative force on the world and the country. And you guys can figure it out. Lenny Jr. says he lifts heavy five to six reps, three sets as a 26 year old girlfriend. Very good point, Lenny Jr. Thank you, Sassy. Jesse Morrissey, anybody has information, please go to the authorities. Thank you, Cameron Lowe. Yes, we knew he was, Jay was going to pull through. He's strong. He's a fighter. He's not a quitter. He's got a lot of great things to do for the rest of his life. And I'm hoping he can get off the road, uh, the trucking, and get something that's more financially profitable for him, as well as maybe something on the internet. Thank you for sending that, Carson Angress. My father never told me that story, probably because he didn't want me to do that, but that sounds like him, all right. White Dom says, who were my top three comic characters as a kid? I loved Spider-Man. I don't care for him now at the movies. I loved the Hulk. And I'd have to be a toss up between Iron Man or Captain America or Daredevil is my third favorite. We hope so too, Frank.
Dan St. Fernando's favorites were Batman, Green Lantern, Dare, Daredevil, and Captain America. I just, I'm pretty sure Batman and Green Lantern were DC Comics, Dan, and Daredevil and Captain America were Marvel's. Exotic Grundy loved Batman and Hulk. Yes, I like Batman too. Bell plays. That's a lot of DNP. Reduce dosage immediately, please. Hair loss, Magnus, I'll talk about another live, but getting back to the medications, I mentioned testosterone. Also for some, metformin is a great medication for cardiovascular and high A1C levels. Uh, it can cause a lot of stomach upset. That's why I don't take it, but it definitely, after a certain age, if you're becoming a little insulin resistant, that should make it more, the receptors more sensitive. And again, this is still up in the air, whether I think it's gonna help in the long run or hurt, but a lot of people do two IUs of HGH as they get older. And on paper, it should work, but that is something you need to do more research on as well as me. Frank Farmer says some of his friends are trying to get him to take up golf. Uh, I'll give it a shot, see how it goes, see if it relaxes yet. But <laughs> don't let it take away from your workouts, recuperation, Frank. You know what's best for you. Let me know how that goes. I'm very curious. Erica D used to collect comics as a kid, but liked the horror comics, like Ghosts, House of Secrets, and Creepy. Yeah, I think girls more into those scary stories versus individual characters. Thanks for continuing to contribute on the live, Erica. Yes, Dan San Fernando. Definitely over the age of 40, especially. These, the rules change. Definitely incorporate fasting. It does low, it does increase insulin sensitivity. Also over 40, decrease your carbs. Unless you're a, still an athlete or you're a, in some type of very competitive strength sports where you need carbs, but reduce them and take away the simple carbs. Also, Take a stay with steer clear of caffeine with the coffees and the teas and all that. Anytime you stimulate your heart artificially through a substance is not good, whether that's cocaine, meth, molly, ecstasy, caffeine, it's all the same. 1.3 dimethyl used in all of it. Wow, Hercules, a $50,000 comic collection with in, everything in cardboard. Getting married the first time was another. Well, the, the old saying goes, there's cookie cutter sayings, but live and learn. And I'm glad Hercules, the maniacs are able to learn from you as well as myself on these lives. It's just a, such invaluable information. I know. I never take these lives lightly. I mean, there's so many new things I've learned from, from maniacs in many different ways, it's just phenomenal. Erica D enjoys contributing to the stream. Thank you, Erica. Her favorite individual character was Incredible Hulk. I'm not sure he's considered a superhero. He was portrayed in different ways. Uh, but in the end, 
if you remember the old television show, and if you, you're too young to remember it, and I'm sure Hercules Misfits and Frank Farmer remember that show very well. The Incredible Hulk was on CBS in the 70s. I think it was 70, 78 to 1980 or something like that. It was on every Friday night at eight o'clock. Uh, I, ne I never missed it. My father let me stay up to watch it. He always was a good guy at the end. He had a good heart. I'm just saying that meth, caffeine, ephedrine increase the heart rate just as far as that goes. I wouldn't say they're all the same as far as potency or addictive potential, but you could throw cocaine in there. It's basically a stimulant. Yes, I would include organic honey in the same category as simple carbs. I wouldn't call it a junk carb because it has many good properties, antibacterial properties, but over the age of 40, you may want to start limiting those simple carbs, definitely for longevity. If you're young, active, or a competitive sport, you can keep them. Or if you're very competitive into your 40s and 50s, you can certainly keep it, but it's just not good for somebody that's not going doing really intense type of sports. Hercules Misfit says he tells his clients he already did the stupid things so you don't have to. <laughs> yes, Carson Angress, we all want to see everybody return. Jason, Jay, Brad. Prince, myself, anybody else, Mike T, Rob Zilla that wants to join the fray. Hercules Misfit says, do as I say, not as I do. Right now, Hercules, I think you ought to change that. Do as I say, not as I did. Because hopefully you're behind most of that stuff as well as, as I am. Sassy Savage Goddess says, hi, Hercules. Butter says, who is the most interesting Nazi? Probably Harmon Goering. Ment Chaser says, I need to convert this audience into full-time living. That's what I'm trying to do. Any tips, DM me. You can throw some tips here on this live. Whoops, no pencil and paper there right now. <laughs> yes, Frank Farmer, that was a great show. It reminded me of the, one of my other favorite great shows, which I watched reruns of. It's called was Kung Fu with David Carradine. I believe that was in the early 70s, probably something we couldn't watch live, but definitely watch the reruns. As you look at the guy Kane and Dr. David Banner, and they always got pushed around and bullied, but they didn't realize, and what the people that bullied them realized was Kane could fight, and David Banner turned into the Hulk when he got him mad. So it was just a great show, and it taught people a lot of lessons. They don't make shows like that anymore. Iden Thomas, Mike Menser saying that is he's proving a point on paper, but. In the real world, you do need the extra calories and protein to make sure. Because Mike Menser, although he may recommend a protein intake of only one gram over maintenance, he isn't taking account what the person is doing every day on a physical basis. He doesn't know, he's not taking into account at all whether they're doing aerobic training, whether they're doing sports, powerlifting, bodybuilding, whatever. Yes, Carson, if I get a hold of Jay, I'll certainly work with him. I'm sorry I brought up the meth, though, it's sassy, but it's just, 
Scatman. Yes, I tried poppers. I actually tried them during a workout with Robzilla. I don't know if it's a good idea. And I, a girl at the swingers club gave me poppers. Might work okay, I guess. I wouldn't recommend it though. It could be hazardous. Yes, road to a thousand bench press. If you want to stay longer, stronger, garlic is definitely a great supplement, although I prefer the garlic cloves in my salad. Every night I have that with my food, with my steak, with my certain amount of carbs, which is not much at night, it's my last meal of the day. I do have that big green leafy salad with it's made of either kale or lettuce or spinach and two, three raw garlic cloves, a different kind of nuts like macadamia or almonds or walnuts or cashews and an oil and vinegar dressing with some cottage cheese. I recommend that to anybody. Yes, quick bump. Lou Ferrigno is incredible. Great full muscle vet bellies. Six foot five. Great athlete. As he was in the superstars competition, as well as world's strongest man. He had a trial with uh, a couple of professional football teams, the Jets, and he was in Canada. But, and he was in movies, and my biggest regret was that wrestling never approached Lou Ferrigno. Even though he was in the WBF, which Vince McMahon owned, they should have brought him into the ring for some appearances. He looked incredible. Although I think he probably would have made all the wrestlers look flabby. A Lex Luger, Lou Ferrigno feud would have been great. Yes, Frank Farmer, Lou Ferrigno was definitely an early inspiration for me as well. Aristophanes of Athens wants to know the difference of between 50 milligrams of Anabar and 50 milligrams of Dianabol. Well, they're both oral 17 alpha alkylated steroids who were broken down by the liver. And they both get an IGF-1 release from the liver, which a lot of people don't realize is what, that's what human growth hormone does when you inject it. It causes IGF-1 to be released from the liver. However, you can get a small amount of that through orals. Uh, Dianabol definitely has a tendency to put on more water weight. Anavar is great for increasing creatine phosphate synthesis. So supplementing extra creatine with Anavar always works wonders. As far as strength, you probably gain more strength with the Dianabol simply because it aromatizes the estrogen and that water retention does give you some joint lubrication as well as volumizing the muscle a little better than Anavar. Anavar's Great for pre-contest bodybuilding. It can cause a very hard physique. So both are great in those dosage as a pre-workout. Both can decrease the appetite, which is bad. However, light dosage Anavar in the teenage years, because it just doesn't have as much androgenic properties, very little if any, would be very wise. And I'm gonna say this a thousand times. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yes, Heinrich Kimmler was a weasel, coward. Lenny Jr. says the Batman show from the 1930s was funny. I didn't know they had one. I hope you're not thinking of the one from the 60s. <laughs> oh, Hercules Misfits. No, Jay, Jay came out of the uh, medically induced coma today. 
if you want to check out It's Sick, It's Piss, the conservative Cuban gave an update. And he had to be restrained. So he's out of the coma and he's on his way to recovery. Any update on obtaining a passport? Yes. I have to get out there probably by I'm going to have to get a ride to go to the uh, closest post office. It's not really on a bike route to Big Daddy, but I'll let you know. Carson Agris, for me, I do have a half-frozen gallon of water in the bathroom bedroom sink. Uh, when I get up in the middle of the night, I'll take a sip or two. So it doesn't have a cutoff time, but what I'm purposely trying to do now is not chug the water so much, particularly at night, just a sip. Danny F is sick. He's got him feeling depressed. Any words of encouragement? Yes, you will get better. If you're laid up and weak, take the time to learn. Rewatch some of the Big Lenny YouTube lives and the Dairy Misfits videos. Watch some educational videos on many different subjects, nutrition and a little philosophy. Use the downtime to work on your brain on your mind. Butter says. This is some historians had a theory Hitler had undeveloped genitals that contributed to his craziness. Butters, I think when some of the biggest propaganda and the old Soviet Union with their show trials, they would humiliate and remove from the history books people that were against their belief systems and all that came out to denigrate Hitler in every way, shape, or form by some that really don't, aren't coming with any facts, just so they can bring the person down. So, <laughs> underdeveloped genitals, that, don't, that won't make anybody crazy. <laughs> Rolita Fernandez says to take quercetin combined with zinc, vitamin D, chaga mushroom tea, and acetylcysteine, and black seed oil as soon as possible. Thank you, Rolita. I'm sure that combination will definitely lead to a longer and stronger life. But on one note on the vitamin D, get the calisiferol form and take it in the morning. Don't take vitamin D at night. How many push-ups could I do in my teens? I routinely did over 50, 20s and 30s. I didn't do any of my 20s. I just benched, bench pressed. But in my 30s, when we had uh, different hurricanes and the gyms were closed and I had access to weights, I remember doing about 30 or 40 push-ups over 300 pounds, different sets. It's sick, it's pissed. No, thank you for all your painstaking work, uh, promoting the lives and giving us the information on Jay and many other things. We appreciate you. Hercules Misfits, you'll have to send me a DM of the tan ten ten, please. <laughs> I want to see her. Hercules Misfits is going to help the tan ten ten grow nice glutes with the booty builder and butt blaster machine. That's good. I've seen the results of some of their silicon injection butts, and it's horrible. 
Thank you, Michael Thunder. 200 milligram test, 200 milligram D-ball and 10 milligram T-ball, a good cycle. Is that 200 milligram D-ball per day? That's too much. Uh, yeah, that's good. It'll definitely put on some muscle and strength. Great, good recuperation. Aiden Thomas has a good message from Matthew, verses seven through eight. And everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to one who knocks, the door will be opened. Not only is that a great message for faith, it's a great message in all areas of life. Dan St. Fernando, I wanna give your Jewish friend Napol a shout out Naple is on the Big Lenny Live. I hope you join us soon and regularly. Yes, this is my Lenny and Longevity Live version. Yes, I did Exotic Grundy, Lenny McLean. Very good documentary. Thank you, Hercules Misfits. We'll call you the 4T, the Tan 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 Trainer. Don't be jealous. I'm curious. I'll say that, Hercules. I haven't given up on that yet. I'd like to, but the thoughts still creep into there. The, I love you too, a thousand pound bench press. Thank you. You told me you love me more than any person on this earth has, and I, I appreciate it. It's a, it's a nice heartwarming feel, and I love you the same, and all the maniacs too. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do some gym videos. There's a few out in the Big Lenny Lives. What do the good old these days mean to me? Joseph Anderson, it means the days when we never locked the door to our house in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. The days we went as a family to church every Sunday as Catholics. And we went to confession before school started, before football practice started. It means five o'clock family dinners every single day. My father came home from work and on the weekends as well, every day, we ate as a family. Good old days means being allowed to watch football, baseball, wrestling, shows like Kung Fu, The Incredible Hulk, The Wild Wild West, some Three Stooges, things like that. Hercules Misfits says something I didn't know. Heinrich Himmler's daughter just passed away in 2018. I want to see if there's an interview on her. I'd just like to know what, if she experienced any persecution or if she kept her identity a secret or changed, changed her name. But Sassy Savage Goddess says God is good. Milan Lang says, did I try the black seeds oil on your skin? Not yet. I'm gonna have to find where I can get a source or let me know on the live here. Yes, we need to do a Misfits reunion. Chestnut Seb says, as Mike Menser once said, if you can't get big on deck and Diana Ball, you won't get big at all. That is true. Hercules Misfits points out the obvious, which should be the obvious. 
People don't understand how huge Russia is, how many resources, soldiers they have. People think the Ukrainians are winning because the media might be saying that, but Russians don't care about numbers. They have the numbers in their favor. Dan St. Fernando says he stops water at 7.30 so he doesn't have to wake up to piss. If you get to sleep through the whole night without getting up, Dan, that's probably the best scenario. That'll never happen with me, but even if I didn't drink water, I'd probably still get up piss anyway. Hercules Misfit said Russia will keep sending more and more troops in. The Nazis thought they had them beat. They were wrong. Yeah, didn't they go to, they were, Russians were conscripting Mongolians in many different parts of barren wasteland, whatever men they had, giving them a little money, join the army. And Hercules points out that Russia is one sixth of the entire world's landmass. Did we do a water check yet? No, water's in the bathroom. I love you too, barbecue sauce. Thank you. No homo is not necessary. <laughs> no homo may me may mean a Freudian slip, barbecue sauce, but thank you nonetheless. Hercules Misfit says the winners of the war write the history books. We gave the Nazis a really bad name they didn't deserve. The world did. T check, Bill Man. Frank Farmer's been taking D3, magnesium, C, and zinc. Perfect. That's pretty much. You may want to add a little copper because I keep hearing about the importance of taking a little copper with your zinc, but that's basically will get anybody in tip-top health. And it's probably better taking what Frank does than taking too many, like additional calcium or vitamin E, selenium, probably not necessary. And vitamin A, that's what butter's for. I'm inside tonight. It's uh, I got chewed up bad by mosquitoes, so I'm not, I don't want to take it on my red blood cells. I have two legs tomorrow. No, I've never taken Carissa Prodol. I heard a lot of pro wrestlers was taking those. Pop three of those, Samas, and in 15 minutes, you'll get the most killer punch you ever had. <laughs> Rolito Fernandez sums up the best drug for strength and growing guys. Sunlight, water, train like a maniac, prime beef, and eight-hour CPAP sleep. That is good as gold, Rolito. Makes me feel like putting the needle away for good, but I'm actually hesitant on that because my levels, I don't want them to crash. I think that's dangerous at all. Do they make you, does it make you sleepy, Hercules? Do as I say, not as you did, Hercules. <laughs> did. <laughs> Ro Rodriguez. That's a good one, but I, I won't say it out loud. Lenny Jr. says, talks about the history of the Batman comic book. I, I thought it was a television show you referred to earlier. The first issue was 1938. Lenny Jr., how much would a mint condition or good condition copy of that go for these days? Wow. Carissa Proto, along with hydrocodone and large joys, is the most euphoric I've ever had. It's right up there with GHB. Well, <laughs> I'll take the GHB, but thanks for the info.
Well, I wish I had some GHB. <laughs> but I'm doing fine without it. Barbecue sauce has for a shout out to his friend Cedric. Cedric, stick to your beliefs, get the truth out. It's almost a badge of, badge of honor if you're speaking the truth and the government's come, come at you. You're a modern day, a modern day hero for that. Thank you, Shane. The leader Fernandez says, if you have a big neck and traps, you need a CPAP. Best thing a doctor ever gave me. Yes, and I thank Aladdin for that. And if you look up the Lennyism Instagram, he's been putting some material out and he has a great gem up in Canada. I hope to see him soon. Well, Michael Thunder, thank you, Michael. He makes a correction on the, his stack. It was 200 milligrams test, 200 milligrams T-ball per week and 10 milligrams T-ball a day. Thank you. Yeah, please DM a picture of her. That'd be great. Thanks, Hercules. Yes, Lenny Jr., the original, all in the families. But you could sure see the change when they went politically correct. Nobody, ratings went to the toilets. No, I never really had an honest assessment of what's in my, what my wrong with my stomach. I never really did scat, man. Thank you, Hercules, for that piece of information on Facebook Marketplace. Wow. There's a whole show on Heinrich Himmler's daughter, says Hercules. She swore to her last day that Heinrich Himmler was murdered by the British. She did not commit suicide. That's very possible. Oh, barbecue sauce, you just reminded me. Rest in peace, former Pitt Panther football player and Indianapolis Colt and Baltimore Raven nose tackle, Tony Saragusa. He was from New Jersey. He was 55 years old. I met him as our team went down to see the University of Pittsburgh in high school and we were, walked into the weight room and a lot of the players were there and Tony Saragusa was there sitting on a bench and he wasn't fatted like he was then, he was more muscular and he said something smart to one of our players when he was asked a question. So Tony was tough. I'm sure Tony had to use the CPAP. The goose, rest in peace. Why do meth users often have bad teeth? My theory is the veins gets, your blood vessels get so constricted that the blood vessels in the mouth aren't getting enough blood flow to the gum area and it causes some decay with the teeth. That's my theory, but I could be wrong. If anybody knows exactly why, let me know. Sassy is, is not afraid of anything. Not the RCMP with their drones or people trying to and this breaks my heart, make her go missing. I hope that have it all, that never happens. But Sassy fears no evil. And maniacs are praying for you, Sassy. Ferdinand Porsche designed a powerful tiger tank and the Ferdinand Tank Destroyer. 
yes barbecue sauce all sides were fighting to get those Nazi scientists Moam asked, do I know Carolyn, also known as mother? No. Give me more information, please, Moam. <coughs> yes, Hercules Misfit says, you will be very successful at tearing tendons and muscles while in meth because it dehydrates you. That's probably the reason for the bad teeth. And that's why a lot of alcoholics have bad teeth because, and caffeine as well, things that dehydrate you should be taken out of your diet. Yes, Hercules misfits. SS death squads followed the army, got rid of undesirables. That's what they were told, unfortunately. War is brutal. Hercules Misfits, you're the MVP of this live, and probably most of the other lives. Your historical information, uh, human performance, and warnings on certain substances this is invaluable. And I would like to thank you for that. <laughs> Hercules, just tell your wife, I rarely go over an hour. Uh oh, Hercules misfits got to get into the shower. Are you thinking about your new training client? I know I am. Yes, Al Jackson. It'd be nice to have Sassy's toes in my mouth. It would be good for her blood pressure. Yes, Sassy, I think father needs to get off the road, get around good people again. Yes, father doesn't need the booze to do that. Three fifty seven three fifty seven Swagna Patriot says Just stay busy. It'll keep you off the booze. Amen to that. Butters has a very, very interesting statement. It does make sense. He says, if Hitler didn't attack Russia during their alliance, the world would have been a better place to this day. I, I, I would agree with that, but I never had that point brought up before. Thank you, Butters. Ralph, I was told by my father and in Catholic school, you finish your plate. And we were told and shown pictures and movies documentaries of starving children in Africa in school. And my father had us, whenever one was on TV, at least it is fundraisers for care. Finish everything on your plates. And if you got, if you got somebody that's hungry or a neighbor that's, or someone on the street, take a fresh plate of food and a paper plate wrap it in plastic wrap and also give them some napkins and utensils, put some plastic wrap, wrap that to the plate. They can either take it to a microwave, maybe in a convenience store, just to be happy to eat it like that. But a good meal and some good water is the best gift you give anybody. As Big Daddy and the couple from Philadelphia and many of the other maniacs have got me a great meal. I'm eternally grateful for that.
I guess once I get the passport arrangements, but my budget is so strict now too. Mr. Steele, uh, my thoughts on Biden are just, he doesn't need to be in office. He's not doing anything beneficial at all. Well, Eder Fernandez says he doesn't get people enjoying being drunk. It takes time away from growing in the gym and learning in the dojo. I agree. Life's too short to be inebriated. <clears throat> yes, barbecue sauce, Aladdin, shoulders, chest and arms. Very freaky, very strong. Mr. Steele, I've had hemorrhoids before. The worst I had was when I lived in Pennsylvania at 19. I had a vertical leg press machine, and that caused hemorrhoids like you wouldn't believe. But they seem to be in remission. Robert Banks is happy Jay off the ventilator. Thank each and every maniac for praying for Jay. Lord Deathsplit says, go blue. Cold Sea loves Sassy. We all love Sassy. What a loving, caring individual. Lenny did a tan, 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 help you get rid of your hemorrhoids. I didn't let the tan, tan, tan near my hemorrhoids, although some of them sure make that area feel good with their tongue. Let me tell you, if you've ever been rimmed by a tan, 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 well, she gives you a, a hand job simultaneously. Oops, this is a family show and I apologize. From what I gather though, hemorrhoids are mostly caused by constipation, which I rarely have. Yeah, it's actually a lot of women get hemorrhoids after childbirth. Yes, Rolita Fernandez. I was allowed to watch the Adams family, definitely. Boy, that was a cheesy show. I, not the sound cookie cutter. <laughs> but keep the stress down no matter what keep it down we're here for a short time we're not going to be here for eternity therefore don't worry about anything Thoughts on women that surround themselves with animals because of their aversion for men. That's a deep rooted psychological problem probably started with a lack of or a bad relationship with their own fathers, unfortunately. And sometimes animals being not judgmental are the perfect thing for those type of people. And they're a gift from God. So Butters has a quick rundown of Jay Masters, Delray, Misfits podcast appearances. Got your pens and paper? Jay's in episode two, episode nine, episode 10, 
Episode 33, 41, 57, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And Adam McLeod's podcast episode number two. You may need to watch the live over again to write that down. So. <laughs> Once again, Jay's on the way to recovery. Keep praying for him as I pray for each other. Good night, everyone. And most importantly, I'll see each and every one of you in paradise soon. Soon enough, we'll all be there. Good night. Mm-hmm.